Since 1999, eight engines and train cars have been on display at the Rails West Railroad Museum. Beginning January 21st, the rail yard welcomes a new member, a 1949 Chicago Northwestern dining car. CBTV stands by as the crew from Scribs Moving and Heavy Hauling works to place the 66-year-old train car in its new home. A new addition to the Rails West Railroad Museum has a bright future. We will clean out the inside, put in a new floor. It's going to look like it did when it came off the line in 49 or pretty close to it. The vision of restoring this 1949 CNW dining and lounge car is coming into focus. The rail car that's out there will get painted again in the CNW yellow with the forest green on top, restore the inside of it. We'll be able to throw birthday parties. You guys can come through and see a, a dining and lounge car in its full glory once we're done. But before that process can begin, the car needs to be moved from a track near the Bartlett Grain Elevators along the South Expressway to the museum. We had to uh, re-rig this uh, entire rail car to take, take the load of uh, being off the tracks. You basically have to build the frame around it and put the the or axles underneath and the big giant hydraulic wheels. Scribs moving and heavy hauling works for days to get the train car onto the Rock Island Depot's property. The curves in the hills that made it pretty stressful uh, trying to get everything it had to go really slow. With more hours of hard and tedious labor, Thursday, January 22nd, the crew slides the 70-ton, 125-foot-long dining car just above its final resting spot. We used our jacking points and uh, put, put our wheels in and uh, winched it over sideways. It's like playing model train on the full one-to-one -one scale. This is an absolute amazing project. A year and a half in the making, and the train car finally has a new home. It'd be a perfect addition down here. Jerry Copia is from Union Pacific, donated the Chicago Northwestern Dining and Lounge Car to the Rails West Railroad Museum. It'll be about two years before the restoration will be finished. Scribs Moving and Heavy Hauling is the same company that moved the other train cars onto the museum's property nearly 16 years ago.